Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to the Road to Glory. Face cam and all. Um, turns out I had to do a little bit more than just unplug it and plug it back in again. And I'd do a little bit more than um, reinstall the software. But you don't care. Here we are. So... Cucurella, the only player that I have left to complete. Will I do it? I don't know. I I've used the 86 in co-op just now, and he was he was the best player on the team. And he was on 4 chem. He was left in there by mistake. <laughs> and he was fantastic. Um, so I actually wouldn't mind picking him up. But the problem is, you'd have to do it in Rivals, which is effort to, to sort of get everything done in Rivals. Or you do squad battles, which... Might be even more effort. I don't know whether I'll do that or not. I've completed, wherever they are, Fofana, uh, which, again, gameplay for this, pointless. First half of it was boosted in friendlies because you can, and then when it, you start having to play in ma uh, manager or masterpiece, it's just a case of score, they leave, score, maybe they hang on, maybe you score again, maybe they leave. It's really like pointless stop-start gameplay. I do have Rivals gameplay to show you. That will be in tomorrow's episode because today is Rewards Day. And I've done any red picks. I will have a red pick or two next week. I've done Rainer as well for those interested because uh, you could do them basically together. Um, this Weekend League Plus, I, I don't know if I'll bother going to 10. I only need one player for the 86 plus pack. Uh, which is, or the upgrade, if you will, right? So, I might... Uh, I might go to 10, I might not, but I definitely will get the last remaining player that I need, and then we'll do an 86 plus on Thursday next week. In terms of transfer list, why do we have 2.1 million? Kenny Dalglish has gone for just under 1.5. Informs were selling at stupid amounts of money. I bought that Ansu Fati for about 14k, purely to sell him on it took a long time but we managed to double our money minus tax same with Bowen bought him for 10k sold him bought um, Bednarak for 10k sold him Romero I packed him ages ago same with the other Atalanta centre back and then Kudus we packed ages ago Nyana bought him to review for about 11k at one point sold him for 18 at one point during this game and it's the same with every FIFA you can buy Informs at 10k, and at some point during the life cycle, they will 100% be worth double what you've paid, without a shadow of a doubt. Now, I've I've not seen it yet, but I have heard that they've released Player of the Month Bulaya. Must have, must have, must have card. I think it's only an 80 rated team for what I'm hearing. Five star skills. I mean, it looks a little bit on the shocking side. Agility's good, dribbling's good, free kicks are nice, shot power's good pace could be better but it's still it's fine i'm a big fan of bulaya in real life i like him in fifa as a silver card he's decent it's a central card as well i will be completing that most people won't care most people won't like it most people don't care fine i don't I, that's that's fine i want to use him i want to play with him so i'm gonna finish him off i'll rather start him and finish him off and then uh, i don't know if i'll review him or not i just want to use him i just want to bring him off the bench and do some skills in friendlies maybe in rivals every now and again I don't know whether to do Todibo just to put him in there alongside Fofana to have a little bit of a defensive switch up so we don't have to use Van Dijk. I can get away with doing it as well if I really want to. Don't know. How expensive is he? 83.85. It's a little, maybe it's a little bit too like, what's, you know, am I doing it just for the sake of doing it? What's the point? I probably won't, but the option's there. Uh, I haven't done that. Oh, there's another party bag, Future Stars party bag. Number two, got two days to do that. We'll do that in tomorrow's video. And standard marquee matchups is there. I've completed Off the Woodwork, which is the Champions League SBC from yesterday, and UEFA marquee matchups as well. So we can go and open that right now. The other thing to mention, and final thing to mention, before we open the packs, is they've now added the moments cards to the database so we have the image of yari Lipmanen. i don't know if they've added um 
Yeah, they've just it's just icon. So they've not added icon moments to the searchable things uh, for the market, but they have added all the images for all the moments cards. They are different to how they were last year, so they are going to look a little bit different, which is nice. Will I pick up Yari Litmanen's uh, moments card? It depends how expensive he is. Maybe, yeah. I, I, you know, I would prefer to keep the, the Prime, and I did say I would keep the Prime, but if there's a better version, and if he does have four-star skills, I'll be very interested. I don't think he will do, but if he does... That is such a glorious sight to see all those non-rare cards. Finally, a way to complete SBCs without having to buy things off the market. What do we have up here? I've got a 75 plus somewhere. I had about 20 75 plus packs yesterday, and I packed like three boards, which wasn't terrible. Could have been, could have been worse for sure. I thought I'd do them off. I, I recorded it just in case. It was nothing worth showing, but um, I thought I'd just do them more quickly rather than having you sit through 20 75 plus packs. It was just, there was just no need for it. Um, hopefully we can get something decent here. This is going to be our last chance to pack a Future Stars card before they leave packs for another year, which is a shame. I do like the Future Stars promo. It has been a little bit disappointing for me personally this year because of Ryan Shirky or the lack thereof of Ryan Shirky. Really wanted him. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to wait another year. That'll be three years I've waited for that card. If it's not, if honestly, if it's not worth the wait, I'm going to be so upset. Prime Mix Players Pack. Can we get something good? Please, EA, just give me something Future Stasi. It is a board. It's not a special item, but it is French. Cam, it's going to be Nabil Fekir, which is... Um, I don't know if, what is tradable and what's not of these, to be honest. And I don't know what came from what. Uh, so we have tradable Nabil Fekir. I'll keep him. Probably end up going into Bulaya, actually. Uh, 25k pack, 250k packs. They're from... I finished rank 1 division... Four. nearly in division two now um not that i'm flexing or anything because it's not that big of an achievement but um we're nearly in division two probably end up getting rank one again if uh the gods are with us but i don't know whether we're going to be able to scrape division one that's going to take a little bit more of a slog we get an absolute icon in pacheco and we also get a shadow in there does cf to cam they sell for 5k don't mind if i do I use them a lot because I've had them in the club. They're all untradeable, and I didn't realize they were that expensive. I just I pop them like sweets, you know, like Tic Tacs. Uh, let's do the rare Electrum. Hopefully. Hopefully, get a Future Stars. I don't care which one. I just want a Future Stars. It's not much to ask for. I don't even care if it's the worst one. I don't even know who the worst one is, actually, in this set. I've not been as engaged with the game since the second set of Future Stars because they don't interest me as much as the first set. For some reason, um, I cut like the was it the Hungarian left mid and um, I can't remember the other guy's name Kulisevsky is that him? They I don't know they were a little bit more interesting to me than than whoever's in this set so I'm not as bothered but I still want to pack one like really bad but we don't get a board from that prime that is shocking shocking Cucurella. Um... Get Ramsey, who is a duplicate. I think he was tradable in the last pack, though. I'm wrong. Let's discard him and pretend that never happened. We'll do the final Prime Gold Players pack because I have absolutely no faith in these packs whatsoever. Moan it in. Nope. It's not even going to be a board. They are off, aren't they? they? They're never good, those Prime Prime packs. No duplicates, though, so I suppose we can take something from that. And right, here we go. Three Mega Packs, one of which is tradable, and I think... The first one I open will be the tradable one because it's the one I claimed last. Is that the way it works or is it the one you claim first? I can't ever remember. We worked it out this year and I can't remember which way around it is. It's going to be Edin Dzeko. Not great. Not great. And of course that is the tradable one. Of course it is. Is he selling for a bit? No. Don't know why I thought he would be. Uh, get rid of those. You know when you just get a, a feeling that your pack luck just isn't there. Yeah, I've got it. I, I have that feeling. It it almost certainly isn't there, which is which is fine. I, I'm assuming we're going to get icon swaps tomorrow, which is not a bad thing. I'm kind of hoping winter refresh drops at the same time, but I've got a funny feeling it's not going to. But because um, I'd like to have, you know, they say all oh, icon moments are in packs. It's awesome, but at the same time, I don't know why I've discarded that. It's not worth anything because it's literally untradeable. Um, yeah, at the same time, 
chances of you packing an icon in general slim to none anyway so let alone a moments icon so even if they do drop them in packs tomorrow it's kind of like yeah i'm happy they're there and they're on the market that's awesome we're not going to pack one though so it's not really a reason to open packs another 35k pack without a board that is not what you want to see an 84 though so it is a board it's just that ea uh, another cf to cam as you can see I, I pack them all the time untradeable and i just i don't really think of the value i literally just apply them without thinking even if it's like oh, i'll just do that for one game just to get him on cam and then i'll switch it back again if i knew it was 5k i probably wouldn't be doing it two packs remain both 50k packs Neither of which are tradable because they're both from Division Rival Rank 1 Rewards. Didn't do Weekend League again, of course, this week. Like I said, I will play to one uh, red. No walkout. Board. Fantastic. Just one walkout. That's all I wanted. Don't be a striker. Fantastic. Just what you want. When I packed him the first time, I was kind of hoping he would be tradable because I knew, I knew I'd get him again. All the time. Uh... Castagna, he was in the same pack as Ed and Jekko, so that was rigged. And finally, this is the one. This is the Future Stars. Or is it an icon? Maldini would be nice. Whatever version. I'm not picky. Walkout is just what I want to see, though. Just to, just to tease me. No. Nope. Board. Inform. I've packed one inform already. Don't be the one. It's not. It's fine. England striker from somewhere. Derbyshire. I mean... Could be hiding a decent little player behind it, I guess, but probably not. Well, we got an 83. Oh, look, another Aaron Ramsey. Who does Derbyshire actually play for? Plays in the Australian League. Well, 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 no wonder I don't know who they are. MacArthur FC. MacArthur FC. What a weird name for a football team. MacArthur FC. Strange. Uh, Two-star skills, so you know he's uh, he's going to be good on the ball. Good. I mean, to be fair, he's got good stamina and good heading. He's not the slowest of players, but apart from that, no. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, today just wasn't our day. You get them. You know, I'm not going to moan about it. it. It happens. And you know, like when you open the first couple of packs and you just think, I'm not feeling this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. At that point, if you've got any self-control whatsoever, just refrain from opening them. Just leave it a little bit. So he was up there just to get the goals. But he's obviously not going to play there. Uh, Maradona goes there. So that's the way that the team looks at the moment. If I do that, so everyone's on full chem. That's the way the team is right now. Is that the way the team will stay? For the foreseeable, probably. I don't know if... Have we got anyone else that I'm missing? Let's get rid of Hiero. He was in there like a desperation. Was it like last week or the week before? I desperately needed a win. And I just don't have, or rather I didn't have, a decent centre-back to put in. Because why had another icon? I, I mean, I've got Eto, but I don't prefer... I prefer Baggio over Eto. I mean, do I prefer Do I prefer Ben Yedder over Roberto Baggio? The answer to that is just no, simply, simply not. Um, ben Arthur maybe could put in there. I think that's probably the, 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 the best way to go about doing it, though, is that. I probably won't ever use Rayner, so I'll just do that. I think that's the way I'm going to play in the few weekend league games that I play and the rest of my rivals games, or at least a large portion of my rivals games anyway. I'll play with that team right there. Fofana comes in, and he is actually very good. If you don't want to watch the review, fine. He's a very good card. Definitely worth unlocking if you need a centre-back. If you don't need a centre-back and you're happy with your Gomez, Varane, Van Dijk, whatever it may be, obviously don't do it, right? But I, I'm happy with them. I'm, a, I'm glad I've done it. Tomorrow, I will show you gameplay. Uh, I have played Rivals today. You will see all of that. And maybe the odd goal here or there from friendlies if I score some decent ones along the way. And maybe some clips of Bulaya as well, because I will complete that. I will also do marquee matchups and the party bag, so look forward to that. Let me know if you've managed to pack a Future Stars on the final shot. I guess a final shot. It's not really, because tomorrow we do, we'll open a party bag and we will get something. Maybe a Future Stars, maybe a Once to Watch, but we will have a chance of packing something decent from that. But uh, if you have enjoyed today's episode of The Road to Glory, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the Betting Rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.